For my next step when performing static file analysis, I'll usually extract ASCII and Unicode strings using a tool like the SysInternals String64 utility. And to help me focus on the strings most likely to be malicious, I combine it with another tool, and that tool is StringSifter. StringSifter is an open source utility that uses a machine learning model to rank strings based on how interesting or suspicious they might be for reverse engineering purposes. After a simple install via pip, StringSifter gives you two scripts, flare strings, which is similar to string64, and rank strings, which ranks the strings based on importance. So if I want to prioritize embedded strings in unload.dll, I'll go ahead and open up a command prompt here. So I'll type strings64, which I already have in my path, followed by no banner so that it doesn't display the EULA information, followed by unload.dll. And then I'm going to go ahead and pipe that to rank strings. And then I'll pipe that to more. And then I'll hit enter. So the output puts the most relevant strings at the top. For example, I see a DLL referenced here that is often used for internet connectivity. I also see a reference to a DLL name here uh, that could refer to maybe the developer's internal naming of this DLL. And I also see some cookie fields here that could be included in the HTTP headers. Now, everything I just said is just a theory, but forming early ideas about a file's functionality helps guide the rest of my analysis. It really just gives me something to look for. 